Prince Harry's recent series of appearances in U.S. media have shaken the royal family in the U.K., according to the Mail's royal editor Rebecca English. She said the royal family may be forced to hit back at some of the bombshell claims that Harry and Meghan have made in recent months. This comes amid a new interview from the Duke of Sussex. As he chatted with Oprah Winfrey and Glenn Close on his Apple TV Plus series The Me You Can't See. Moore's English revealed the royal family are nearing their tipping point, as Meghan and Harry keep poking the bear. The Mail Plus host asked, The palace have always gone with the never complain, never explain approach. Can we really expect that to carry on? Surely there will be a tipping point. Moore's English responded, Buckingham Palace genuinely don't want to get drawn into a public slanging match with Harry and Meghan. That said, they are poking the bear a lot, and people are right to wonder whether there will be a tipping point. She continued, I don't think it will be any time soon. The royals are hoping that Harry will just burn himself out, that he says what he wants to say. Whether it is from the heart or he wants revenge, they are just hoping that he will get it off his chest and move on. They hoped that would happen with the first Oprah Winfrey interview but other so-called truth bombs have been lobbed since. Moore's English added the family's methods for fighting back were limited. She said, The Queen has already made very very clear that recollections vary on a lot of what they say but she really wants to sort this out privately. In the latest appearance, Prince Harry hinted his family felt shame over his struggles with mental health. Harry told Oprah families can feel ashamed when they don't realize what is happening with family members' mental health. Earlier this month, in a podcast interview, Harry appeared to suggest his father and the Queen had failed as parents. The Mail's Saturday Diary editor Richard Eden questioned why Harry had to keep dragging his family into it. However, he added, it's very good that Harry has spoken about his mental health and his therapy and that may be encouraging to other people particularly men.